So we're going to finish up at Hereford. Thanks for those, Martin, with the qualifiers. The Moors Millions is up first. We've got a three mile, three furlong handicap. Gallagher Origin for Martin Williams, a 94 favourite and top weight. Mabutsa Norma for James Shea, Watergate for Darren Thompson, Sharmadel Phantom for Thomas Rogers, Darrow for Darren Thompson, Latin Lover for Kevin Meenahan, Bob Pegasus for Paul Rhodes, Bucko for Martin Leadham, Great White Hope for Joshua Sutherland, No More Prisoners for Paul Rhodes, Deep Reflection for Thomas Rogers, Vertrui in hindsight for Davy Ladd, Viva La Rock for Kevin Meenahan, CV Premium for Paul O'Neill, Tacker Jam for Alex Cherry, Changing Strings for Ryan Costello, Pink Champagne for Derek Kinton, and whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry makes up the big field of 18, Going to do this three mile three course here. Starters drop the flag and they're away. As we wait for them to settle down. We just went over in the Dragoon. That was just started on the fence. And it's got a half a length lead from Watergate as they approach the first 21. We'll have to negotiate. The leaders are over it, as is everybody else. So it's whenever Dragoon and Watergate. These two are going to along the rest of the field. It's being led by Deep Reflection out wide here. Well, they're just taking a hold again now. You can see the hold up horses, which is the majority of them as they get to the second. They're all over that as well. And there's whenever Dragoon and Watergate the lead. About, about four lengths from the chasing pack. First the greys nosing out there is Ron Pegasus and the full road silks up against the fence and the pink silks of pink champagne. Kevin Mina House just at the rear at the moment. Viva La Rock. The great why this one towards us here in the purple silks is Gallagher Origin, the favourite and top weight, as they will get over the third. They're all still on their feet here. We've finally got a 1 2 3 on their own, which is whenever Dragoon, Watergate, and Bomb Pegasus as they go past the finishing post. A couple of circuits to go from changing strings and the boots are normal now into fourth and fifth. They swing right handed while Gallagher Origin, widest of all, carrying. Uh, Oh no, Gallagher is up against the fence. I do apologise. That's Martin Leland's other runner. And they all get over the fourth bar. Viva La Rock, who just uh, stumbled over it. Actually, uh, Bucko is the one going the longest way round. Just on the inside of Bucko is Paul O'Neill's Darrow. And then the grey of Josh Sutherland, the Great White Hope. But it's still one of the Dragoon that leads us over the. Oh, and a big, big, big jump from Viva La Rock at the rear. At the Royal, of, I'm thinking might have been at the Horse of the Year show. Taking on the wall, and we'll go over the six and leave it a rock of the red. Took it better, but up front is still whenever Dragoon and Watergate. They're about three away from Von Pegasus with no more prisoners. Paul Rose's horse up against the fences and the boots are normal in the green silks, red cap. And the grey that's just nosing out here is David Robertson's Vitruvian Hindsight to get to the seventh. Everybody gets over it. Big slow jump again at the rear by Viva La Rock. But he's still on his feet, so he's still got a chance, and he's still got well over two miles to run. We get to the eighth. We all got through that, although Latin Lover, which is the other Kevin Mina Hanholz, didn't take it particularly well. Clat at the top. Drops back. Oh, we've lost one. Deep Reflection's gone. I didn't see that for Thomas Rogers. Unlucky. Fences back. It's whenever Dragoon and Watergate from Mabutsa Norma, no more prisoners of Mon Pegasus. And back to the remainder of the pack, still being pulled along by Vitruvian Hindsight. Up against the fence is Pink Champagne. And we've got Tark Jan. And the green silks of Charmadel Phantom of Thomas Rogers. And changing the strings of Ryan Costello up against the fence. First the Kevin Meenahan runners, the Latin lovers, they get to the tenth. And they all get over that. Much change towards the rear, although Darrow's gone into last place now with Gallagher Origin and Viva La Rock. And whenever Dragoon up front's got a length and a half advantage now from Watergate. We get to the 11th. And he gets over that as well. So the jumping's not been too bad here. And we've still got a mile and a half. And then there's whenever Dragoon from Watergate. No more prisoners. Mabutsa and Norma. Truvi and Hindsight and Bomb Pegasus taking a bit of a rest now and dropping back. That winds Bucko in the purple silks. Widest of all now still is, I think, CV Premium as they get to the 12th. We'll get over that as well. One well, that's made up a good bit of ground now is Viva La Rock for Kevin Meenahan. Got up to about mid pack. Also, Great White Hope for Josh Sutherland. Then it's the Menace Silks, the Great. But they're still being led by Whenever Dragoon. And Alex Jerry from Great Beckwith's Watergate. And no more prisoners. 
my boots are normal for James Shea. I get to the 13th. I'm getting a little bit closer all now. There's one of Dragoon on Watergate. Only just a length and a half now away from no more prisoners up against the Rowan and Vitruvian Hindsight and Great White Hope. My boots are normal there. And Kevin Mina, Hannah Horses, Latin Lover and Von Pegasus. Bucko's wide up against the fences. I think uh, is Von Pegasus, sorry. As they go over the 14th. And they're all still on their feet by the one we lost, which was Deep Reflection. And whenever Dragoon and Watergate are joined now by Great White Hope, although Great White Hope just takes a rest for a couple of lengths, leading into the 15th. They're all over it, a couple of poor jumps, even at a rock, stumble through it again. And I think uh, CV Premium didn't. I made a bit of a pig's ear. But as they swing right handed now, they're inside the final mile, and it's whenever Dragoon on Watergate. On the outside is Great White Hope, and the boots are normal up against the fence. Moving well on the outside is Bucko with Vitruvian Hindsight. He took a great leap of that and got over it well. Sharmadel Phantom's in there. One that dropped back really badly there was Von Pegasus. On the wide outside in the Grey's one. Sorry, not Von Pegasus. That's Viva La Rock making a good move now. As Derek Bucko didn't get over that well. So it's great. Whenever Dragoon's got about a three length advantage, to come down to the five. It's whenever Dragoon. By about four, back to Great White Hope, Vitruvian Hindsight, Viva La Rock. They go over the 18th. They're all over that as well. And it is still whenever Dragoon's the one they've got to catch. And it's whenever Dragoon from Vitruvian Hindsight in second now. Watergate doesn't seem like he's got all that left. No boots and normal takes him over on the inside. On the outside goes Great White Hope. Viva La Rock's there. Charmadel Phantom, Von Pegasus is having another crack at it, as well as no more prisoners but up front it's whenever Dragoon as we come inside the final half mile, being taken on now by David Robertson's Vitruvian Hindsight as they go over the 19th, there's only two left to jump and it's Vitruvian Hindsight that takes it up now from a slowing whenever Dragoon on the way outside Great White Hope, the boots are normal trying to run on but they've got to catch this leader who's got a three length advantage now coming down to the final quarter mile, gets over the penultimate as to the rest and it's still Vitruvian Hindsight by about three or four. Now here comes Great White Hope. He's got a lot to do in a furlong and a half and it's Vitruvian Hindsight. Coming down to the last now. He's only really got to get over it from Great White Hope. Running on well is Mabutsa Norma. Whenever Dragoon's just plugged away there but he's going to start to lose his sense. But here up at the front as it gets to the last. It's Vitruvian Hindsight but Great White Hope's running alongside but on the outside is Mabutsa Norma and it's Great White Hope and Mabutsa Norma taking over and it's Great White Hope that takes it from Mabutsa Norma and Vitruvian Hindsight. He just took it far too easy in that last furlong. And the great white hope he gets to qualify for the world's millions. He just didn't do anything there, Vitruvian hindsight. Might have been a furlong too far. But anyway, it's great white hope for Josh Saddle and it qualifies along with Mabutsa Boots and Norma of James Chase. Vitruvian hindsight for David Robinson hang on for thirds so will we'll qualify. Shambhala Phantom for Thomas Rogers and no more prisoners for Paul Rhodes were fourth and fifth. We'll move on to the second of the Moore's Million Stairs, leg 14.